Hi, this is the cool geek and in this 12th video of the VLOOKUP series, we're going to create a dynamic chart using VLOOKUP. The data we have for this example is some detergent sales data. We have four detergents and their sales data for six months. What we're going to do is display the trend of one product at a time. To do that, we're going to use VLOOKUP. Also along with that, we're going to use data validation to create the drop down menu for each of the product selection. So let's begin with creating the drop down first. I go to the range B14, go to the data tab, click on data validation. I can then click on list. The source is from B6 to B9. So I'll select that range and say, okay, if you've done this properly, you will be able to see all the four product names here. I'm going to just randomly select any one of them. Now we can use VLOOKUP to populate the sales data. How, how are we going to do that? It's going to be simple so we'll use is equal to we look up look up value is going to be pure soft detergent that is b14 i'm going to fix the column here f4 thrice comma the table array is going to be from b6 to i9 f4 comma the column index number we're going to dynamically get it by using column function Okay, now the column function will return three as it is in column C of Excel, but we want two since this particular table, the January's data is present in the second column and from second column onwards to whichever column July is in. So I'm just going to say minus one, this particular formula that here, the little formula here for column index number, it's going to return two, which is what we want comma exact match close the bracket and you will see you will get the exact number here for that is one through zero eight now i'm going to drag this formula since it's a dynamic formula it's going to get all the values that are required for pure soft detergent right now the next thing we need to do is format it so i'm just going to take any one of the rows here click on format painter and bring the formats here now that's okay once we have the format what we can do is then overlay the chart on this so i'm going to select this data here and say a column chart i'm going to format it to something like this you can shift the chart to this particular side and then leave it there now what's the beauty of this particular chart it's dynamic in nature we can see one product sales trend at a time how we can see that we can just go to this drop down here and select any one of the products that we have and you will be able to see their trend from january to july 2011 if you like this video please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have any video request please do mention it in the comment section below and i'll make a video out of it thank you for watching